going to be painting the sphere starting with the gesture. I like to divide the canvas into four equal parts. Start with a sphere, basically a circle. And I want to get an angle for the cast shadow and I'm putting in the core shadow now for the sphere. This is the angle I want to look for for the uh, for the ellipse of the cast shadow. And I'm figuring out about how far down I want to go. This is all in, in the gesture. I want to find the shadows, sh a few of the basic shadow shapes. Make sure you draw right through this the circle or the sphere as you're working out the ellipse for your cast shadow. You should be able to divide that cast shadow in half and have the same arc on the top and the bottom. Okay, just get my gesture in a little better here. I'm almost done with the gesture right now. pretty good right there. Just checking it. And now that I got the uh, the gesture in, I'm gonna that's the first phase. There are actually five phases starting with the gesture. Now I'm in the phase two, this would be the block end phase. I'm kind of indicating where the end of maybe a table might end uh, with a sphere sitting on the table. Okay, so I'm putting in the background. I'm going to be doing a somewhat of a cool black, warm black painting in grisaille or grayscale. So this is just using black, two different types of blacks. Okay, I'm indicating again where the the edge of the sphere is, and I'm looking at the values around the sphere, the lights and the darks. Everything is based on value and contrast. Contrast being the difference between the lightness and the darkness. Okay, so I'm, first I like to start with the background as many places as I can before I start to detail the image. Okay, put a little bit of line in here. This will be where I'm painting right now. It's actually going to be the dark side of the object. So since that is dark on that side, I'm going to go lighter in the background and I'll go darker on the object. Get my light in there. And then even though this is a cast shadow and it will be dark, I want to put in a little bit of a light area where it will be reflected light. Okay, still getting my shapes, getting some paint around it. Once you get the background in, if you're using oil paint like this, the background can stay a little bit wet. Makes it nice for blending edges. Okay, I'm just about done here. Getting some more paint in the reflected light area. Okay, now I'm putting in the core shadow. This is the dark area where the light begins to fall off the object in single source lighting, which I'm using here. And I'm just maintaining where that is. I'm putting in my my form shadow, the entire form shadow. Okay, and I'm indicating where the light area is going to be on the sphere, going into the halftone light area, which is not as light as the lightest area. Which will the lightest area will actually have the highlight area for the sphere. And I'm putting a little bit of light back in where it might be reflected light, bouncing back up to the sphere. Now going back to the background, I can begin to start to refine my edges pretty soon, even in this early phase. I'm, I'm 
still somewhat in the block in phase and I'm kind of getting into a little bit of the the third phase which will be the, what I call early refinement okay now I'm just softening that edge since both the outside background and the object now are both wet so I can I can drag my brush over that edge and it will soften it I'm going and put my cast shadow in a little bit darker okay refine I'm beginning to refine the object here okay this is still early refinement phase and this is where I pay attention to getting some of my edges in continue to get them in the whole time I'm readjusting one value to another you don't want to just absolutely detail it to the max right off the bat just take your time go through these various phases and you're going to refine continue to refine as you go basically from general to specific okay and I'm going to try to get down in this area here some of the areas are a little bit more challenging to get because uh, there might be more subtlety of value okay getting my shadow in there it's looking better now since it's still a little bit wet I can continue to refine with my brush okay now I'm just trying to get that cast shadow a little bit more refined a bit a little bit of the light back here and I can change directions with my brush strokes so it's not all going in one direction some cases I'll go I'll bring the background back over the, the shadows and the object and that will unify it okay so I'm getting closer to completing the sphere if you handle the edges and keep them soft it will look it'll give it more form and look more 3d okay now I'm taking a taking my brush and going back over some of these areas and it's getting a little darker a little lighter in the reflected light area now I'm taking a brush that's just dry and I'm just pulling it over and softening some of these edges making it look a little more natural now how much you soften it is up to you uh, sometimes I like to keep a brush stroke or two in there just to give it some a little bit more what I would call expressive quality when you do your background brush strokes it's nice to go in a different direction now I'm pulling that into the edge a little bit I'm going to soften the edge a little bit more and make it look rounder okay getting there so it looks like I can see the basic shapes in the, of, of, of light and shadow okay so now I'm in what I would call the later refinement phase. I'm beginning to continue to refine it, later refinement. Still saving my highlight for last. Okay, getting ready to put in more light. Still softening edges. This can take a while. Okay, and I go back over. Sometimes I pull light into the shadow and then I'll soften that edge just like I'm doing right here okay now I'm putting in more light into the highlight area when you put that in you want to put it in in this case pure white okay and I'll soften that edge coming out flared out into the halftone light area which is just before the shadow Soften the edge again one more time. Get it to be a little more soft. Okay, I'm nearing completion for this demonstration. On the left side, I'm a little bit darker in the background on the, of the object. On the light side, on the dark side, I'm a little bit lighter in the background giving it more contrast, making the light look like it's moving from left to right. Mm 
Okay, just soften this a little bit more, maybe. All right. Okay, we're pretty close here. Now, how much you detail or refine your painting uh, will entirely depend up with to use. Okay, I'm putting a little bit more reflected light there on that edge down on the bottom. Okay, I could refine the, some of the background a little bit more if I want to, or just leave it like this. Okay, and I'm going to refine that that reflected light area down there, soften some of the edges a little bit more maybe. Just re define that. That's the hard edge of the cast shadow. The closer the cast shadow gets to the object that's blocking the light, the harder that edge will get. And you can see it gets softer as it gets further from the object on the cast shadow.